Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are rejoining Val in orbit at the 1 day and 16 hour mark as she makes pass uh, over India. But the CO2, wastewater, and uh, waste everything else. Just waste. That's a lot of poop, Val. I guess we only gave her like two poop bags. Alright, we're going to activate our CO2 scrubber in hopes that that uh, gets rid of some of this stuff. I am also going to take a peek here in the fairing. That's electric charge. There we go. Food, water, and oxygen. We did not include an extra tank here for waste product. That would have been quite nice, I reckon. Oops. <laughs> So we're just going to see how this uh, CO2 scrubber does as far as affecting our electric charge. We do have a challenge, not so much of a contract, to stay in space for two days. We've got about seven hours left on that challenge, so we're going to see how that goes for us. Uh, Val here is going to take another EVA now that she's over a different biome. And collect that EVA report. Keep experiment. And jump back. Oh, dump experiment. We need to radio the first one in. Oops. Review stored data. Transmit. Well, it looks like her logs about floating around in space over the water are going to take some time to upload. That's fun. Uh, we can put those contracts away. That's not the resource panel I was looking for. That is the resource panel I was looking for. Our oxygen depletion is minute. Really, I guess uh, what I'm worried about is this CO2 buildup. We've been able to get it down to a net zero, but I would like to see it start uh, going down, especially because we're going to be using so much energy. Yeah, the scrubbers are doing pretty well on mitigating things. Uh, I forgot to have her jump back out and collect that report. I guess we're going to have to do that next time. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Alright, there's the 30 science added. Now we're back in space over Earth's water. Although I can't tell where, because it's nighttime. So, we're probably just going to complete uh, another orbit or so while our everything else fills up quickly and our co2 does not go down tropics grasslands good enough all right val hop on out i should have been biome hunting but i was not eva report oh that's not biome specific space near earth i thought it was still biome specific like in the originals i guess i have just uh, wasted a lot of time well then uh before we were seeing some pretty significant boil off. Yeah, like this whole tank of liquid oxygen is pretty much gone. This stage might give us enough to go ahead and deorbit, which we should probably just take care of now to see if we can't bring it home during the day. And since we're already almost focused to retrograde, go ahead and adjust our angle. And... And while it's not quite enough for a translunar injection burn, we do have an entire AJ-10 upper stage available to us, which would be nice for getting into higher parking orbits. But uh, really what we can consider all of that extra weight in there is cargo capacity, things that we could bring to orbit. If we wanted to go to the moon, we could probably swap out these two, or this whole stage really, for an AJ-10 powered stage. That could round out our orbit and maybe even have enough left in us to propel just the command pod into orbit and leave the command pod available to get us back home, maybe? Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and ullage these engines and start our re-entry. And there they go. Periapsis of 77 kilometers, that's not too bad. Um, well, let's, let's go ahead and use these RCS thrusters and bring that down just a little bit more. Alright, 
let's see where we're going to come in. I probably did not time that very well. All right, yeah, it looks like we'll be coming in, probably start our re-entry somewhere just past India, and land somewhere there in the South Pacific. I like it. All right, and we can go ahead and, now well, let's, let's go ahead and just lower that periapsis a bit more. I would like it right around 70 kilometers. Oh, uh-oh. That was a bit much. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we going all crazy? What has caused us to be all cattywampus? Alright, well. We can go ahead and... Now switch to staging mode. And jettison that. Unlock that hydrazine and get ourselves. Well, we should. Yeah. We're going to turn around and make a correction using the CJ10. I would just like to get clear first. You know, what hydrazine are those things using? Might as well just go ahead and unlock that tank. I know I've got resource, re, bleh, resource transfer. All right. Can we... Oh, well, we're in linear mode. That would explain why it's not moving the way I would like it to. We need to get this right because we need to get Val home safe to fulfill what is going to be a lot of very, very profitable contracts. There it is, 70 kilometers. All right. Go ahead and get ourselves set up for our re-entry here. And we're going to go ahead and ditch our AJ-10 stage. All right, good. We've got plenty of resources left in our command pod. We've been draining them mostly from the uh, service module. Thankfully. And step, 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 step. Switch to staging mode. And stage away from that. What hydras? Oh, that tank's still open. That's new. push ourselves away a little bit and fast forward till we start to encounter some atmosphere and we'll go ahead and ditch our service module coming up on a very beautiful dawn and there it is all right let's not be in linear mode All right, and let's not be in docking mode. And goodbye service module. Thank you for your service. And we can go ahead and unlock the high test peroxide here and just get ourselves angled to retrograde. Earth's upper atmosphere over the desert. We do not have that one. Let's go ahead and transmit that home. Transmit that home. Genie Man's quick save. Val's going to be super ballsy. EVA. EVA report. Keep experiment. Board. Whew. That was 20 signs that the uh, ground station is never going to forgive her for getting. And now we'll begin our time acceleration into re-entry, which I will probably speed up in post, just as a point of fact.
Okay, I have no idea what's happening. Why we had so much screen shake. That was just things exploding off in the distance? Or what exactly the hell was going on there? That really, that really threw me through a loop. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> Back to what will probably be our fast forward view. Well, we've got a lot of upper atmosphere science we can collect. That's cool. Freebies, right? And plenty of battery charge to play with, so not exactly concerned with that. We are losing some of our ablator. Uh, we have picked up our maximum amount of waste. So good job on all your pooping, Val. You've pooped with the best of them. Although now I imagine it smells really bad in there. But we're starting our deceleration in earnest. There go our antenna. Couple more free science points. We've gone through half of our ablator now. A little over 9 G's deceleration there. Way to go, Val. She toughed through it like a champion. Alright, we can just turn our stability control off. What the shit? Oh, no. That had to be a backup shoot. I s wow, I swear. All right, we're just going to disarm those. Fast forward a bit. I don't want to fast forward a bit. I want to toggle info because I swore I had those set. Yes, altitude, 3550, full deploy at 700. Secondary shoot. Ah, damn it. I'm hoping that's the one that already went out. I damn it. Close. Alright. Arm parachute. It's showing armed. Well, if we hit the 3,500 meter mark, or the 3.5 kilometer mark, and no parachute has gone out, we will know that we are in a lot of trouble. Alright, resource panel, you can go away. Okay, shoots out. Whew, that looks like the single secondary shoot instead of the triple primary shoot. Hit arm again. See if that secondary that secondary did not deploy. That must be the one that we tore off. Oh crap. Well, should be hitting full deployment right about now. There it is. And down to a less than comfortable 7.2 meters per second. That should be fun. But I'm sure this thing is crash rated. I think in our first simulation, that's about how hard we hit the water. Just a little bit of bounce and sway, but the helicopters are on their way. Valentina Kerbin, first Kerbal to successfully complete uh, an orbit, spending more than two days circling the Earth in her tiny capsule, now awaiting rescue. So, well, thanks for hanging out for that one, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, until next time, I will see you later.